So I want to talk about the story of our tech as with our organic growth in partnership with IBM. Um, this story will illustrate the overcoming of a barrier of being a local supplier at the outset of a relationship, but they understood the long-term value of controlled growth with the customer. So Artec is currently a global IBM technical services prime diversity supplier in the United States. Artec has an excellent service delivery track record not only with IBM but also with other significant clients, including commercial as well as government. They've added significant value add to IBM by leveraging our by leveraging their proven global deployment methodology and comprehensive depth of skill competency. So that's a long sentence with a lot of words that I'm reading. Let me just sort of generically say that what we're really trying to say is that one of the challenges of smaller businesses is scale. You're talking about some huge old companies around this yeah. table, right? <laughs> we're not just in Detroit. We're not just in, you know. We're only 30 years old, by the way. Oh, I'm still still young. Still young. Still young. Still young. Still young. Still young. Still Still young. Still Still young. 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 Still Still young. Still young. Still Still young. Still Still young. Still Still young. And so we need a lot of the companies to go with us, smaller companies to go global with us. And so we, as you go to the exhibit hall, and as you have your one-on-one -on -one meetings, a common question that will be asked of you is, um, can you scale? And the wrong answer to say is that, yeah, sure, I can scale. Um, but the real question is, how? How would you scale? It's not that you need to be large today. It's not that you needed to be large yesterday. It's not that you need to know exactly how to do that but it means that you thought about it. If you were asked to take on a global client in another country, do you know the process you would go through? Do you know what you need to know? Do you know what you don't know in order to scale with IBM? IBM, we already do the currency exchanges, all that hard stuff, we know how to do that. But only you know how to scale your businesses. So Artec is a perfect example of who has the capability to scale and grow along with IBM. Um, so Artec started with IBM as a supplier in the year 2000 in the United States. Um, they had market success in the U.S. market, and seeing that, we asked them to compete and go global with us in 2002. Since 2002, they've won IBM's India core business. That's a big marketplace. And in 2006, they started working with us in China. They've been willing to go with us to global markets, grow within those markets by creating multiple offices and becoming experts in understanding the landscape in each of those markets. But the primary reason behind the success of IBM Artec relationship is that we provide opportunities to Artec, but Artec has delivered each and every time. And since then, they've enhanced their practice by investing in its services support infrastructure and is now capable of delivering on a global scale by seamlessly bringing together its process orientation um, to new geographies. The result, they can go anywhere we need them, and we can expect the same quality of services anywhere in the world to our customer set. So I want to read a quote from you by the president of our tech, Manjini Kodak. Um, quote, the IBM team has worked with us on several programs, and they have categorically challenged us to be innovative and demonstrate our continuous improvement capabilities. IBM's challenge has spurred the Artec management to perform at the highest possible standard and to endeavor to be a leader in our industry. The outcome is clear. Artec was barely a $10 million local company when it first started doing business with IBM in 2000. Today, Artec is a global company generating over, wait for it, $250 million in sales wow. revenue since 2006 wow. by going global with IBM. Wow. While there are various reasons for this remarkable growth, there's no doubt that IBM's challenge to us, their ongoing push for excellence, and their willingness to sit down with us and drive the importance of innovative practices in the services delivery practice was and continues to be a critical factor to our success. Think about what Randall said at lunchtime, right? Even collectively, you guys could go after business with, with large corporations by partnering. If there are areas, for instance, in camp, you may not have all of it, but maybe there's a weebie that's great in security. Well, security goes with everything you do, right? And maybe you're great in the, I don't know, social business area. Think about also joining forces and partnerships to compete with 
maybe medium-sized companies and even larger companies who are going after the same business. So that's just one example. I'm sure that my peers around the table could share their examples as well. Thank you for sharing that great 